in this module we will take some examples from gain the project we referred to in our previous module to understand how we find out gender inequality in a university setting and if we find it out what is benefit for us in these finding can we use them for eliminating gender inequality can we use these findings to prepare some program for social justice especially with reference to women rights in such hierarchical situation these things would be discussed with the help of some examples which are selected from this research project which is called gain one piece of interview workplace talk is given here names of the talkers are fake because this is principle of research that they don't tell the true identity of the talker and the place which university is under study this is also kept secret okay now see this is on dialogue here are two persons mary and lucy they are talking this uh, dialogue is very interesting i would try to go through it as quickly as possible i uh, just want to tell you that uh, you will find here certain uh, symbols for example you find 1.0 uh, like thing and a plus sign plus sign is very short pause and uh, 1.0 means 1 second pause and uh, and no other uh, symbol is used here okay uh, just one more uh, thing in square brackets in this dialogue you will find a word drawls drawl means that you prolong the vowel sound and you often do it uh, when you prolong for example you so the last vowel is prolonged in you and you also do it in email writing thank you so very much so you repeat the letter o so many times so this is called drawls in spoken english so these are uh, the symbols in this dialogue let's go through it you are in a very quantitative field aren't you quantitative field the work this person is doing is uh, about quantitative research uh, there is a kind of research where numbers and numerical things are involved that's why quantitative field it may be mathematical field statistical field it may be field of research uh, she may be working with some senior professor of mathematics or statistics or research so on lucy uh, this is the answer from the person lucy yes i am and i guess that it stands out because sometimes uh because sometimes this is repetition that is allowed in spoken language i go to conferences where uh, i can be like uh, the only woman in the room okay because uh, she you know see she is female she would tell you that uh, how she behaves in this environment and how she doesn't feel any kind of inequality in this in this situation and what happens with other women this is interesting in this dialogue mary right lucy so it's uh, it does stand out sometimes mary was that i suppose how do you uh, navigate or how do you kind of work around that i suppose uh, uh, you are uh, does it have an effect on you on you 
that you are alone among the men does it have any effect do you feel threatened insecure etc lucy i don't think it does uh, uh, no no obviously no uh, uh, yeah i think i'm uh, i'm a lucky being like uh, childless now see this word is underlined because it has very important key meanings here in this dialogue why i am so lucky she says lucky because i am childless i am not married i have no responsibility of mothers well not lucky then chuckles when you laugh uh, silently this is called chuckle when you laugh with noise you call it laughter so this is chuckle silent laughing without noise she chuckles but i'm a kind of childless woman draws again so in these circumstances i can behave like a man chuckle because i am childless i have no responsibility of motherhood so i can work these men among these men like a man okay uh if you know uh, what i mean as mothers have to go home she explains that why i feel lucky and why i am enjoying this uh, why i am feeling secure here uh, she says uh, you know mothers have to go home and look after their children i guess that gets me accepted more in these situations yeah so i never leave my work to talk with children to uh, to uh, look after my children uh, soon after duty or even during duty i have to contact with them mary right what do you mean behave like a man lucy well i guess uh, these men uh, uh, if you go to events and uh, stuff they can just stay and go for a drink a cold drink uh are um, uh, something and there are few women who quite often they would say oh i have to go back to have my kids men can enjoy can go everywhere but, but women they are always mindful of their children at home uh or even when they are at work they are mindful okay so this is the dialogue uh lucy at the end says um i did one guy i do research with he often says he is his colleague oh i am one of the boys and that's why it works to do research with them because they can all talk to me see all these things go against established norms of femininity and now here being among men in a masculine environment of the office of the university she in fact represses suppresses eliminates her femininity this is the effect of gender inequality uh, in a real sense uh, that we uh, get from this dialogue because i am one of the boys mary right so i don't know i don't know what that kind of means i don't know if that's compliment or an insult why are you like boys are you complimenting or uh, is it some kind of insult mary explains but how does he mean it you are one of the boys i think he's he's like you know uh, they can all open the talk in the group now how you say that you are uh, like boy as your colleague is she says that they can all open the talk in the group we can talk freely and uh, if i go in the group it's not like uh, there's a woman there nobody says that no 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 don't talk like this a woman is sitting among us so this is the situation the talk shows gender difference in femininity and masculinity 
she what she is doing she is telling us what femininity is and what masculinity is women have to these words are key words have to take care of their children even when they are at work women and men they can enjoy even when they are at work because they are free from the responsibility of mother women are good carers they tell bedtime stories even when they are at work lucy is fit for male dominated office why as i told you because she is one of the male group she has effaced eliminated her gender identity and she has to okay lucy is like men as she can behave and talk like other men this is work based gender negotiation this is compromise over gender identity lucy paints women at workplace according to social stereotype this is the social norms that uh, needs women to do all these things uh, that requires women to do these things and gender inequality and asymmetry uh, is hinted at by lucy's talk when she says men can do this women can not do this so this is gender inequality gender asymmetry gender inequality are so, uh, in society will be part of every workplace number 1 this inequality is signaled through workplace discourse as this discourse between mary and lucy tells us but finding inequality in discourse is useless if we don't do anything to remedy it to remove this inequality